I was on the set last week, how profound it is that I am playing the fairy godmother. They call it the Fab G. Magic has no gender. Um, we are presenting this character as genderless. At least that, that's how I'm playing it. And it's really powerful. You know, this is a classic. This is a classic fairy tale um, for a new generation. And I think that the new generation is really ready. You know, the kids are ready. It's the grown-ups that are slowing stuff down. I mean, when I was Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glory and honor goes to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone rule well. Citations to the hopefully elect out there pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. Your brother Kapatiza from the great millstone Chicago yes. branch. Um, I mean, you heard it for yourself, man. I ain't really got to put too much more deal on it, man. Um, <laughs> it's a sensitive subject, but how about Shem Shai sees everything, man. And, you know, one of the sinister things that this individual said was that the children are ready. It's the adults that are slowing us down. And, um, I mean, what more do you need to say? You know, what more do you need to hear as far as the direction that this wickedness is going? You know, the prophets have been telling you for years that the elites want your children, especially you Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, especially. He wants your children. He wants the minds of your children because he wants to ultimately put an end to you. And one of the ways to end and destroy a population is, what's the word on Sexual perversion. You see? Sexual perversion prevents reproduction. And when you prevent reproduction, you wipe the people out. And, um, you know, we ain't got to go too deep into that, you know, but it's just how funny. It's just funny how the face of sexual perversion in the mainstream media, the face of it is always a so-called uh, so-called black person. It's always a so-called black man or a so-called black woman. They always make up the face of this movement, man, in popular television, you know. And, you know, it's just it's uh, it's just real uh, interesting how they do that, man. But, you know, we ain't going to speak too much on it because, you know, it's a sensitive subject. But I'm going to get the scripture. This is Second uh, Ezra 16 and 63. Surely he knoweth your inventions. This is talking about the most high. It says, surely he knoweth your inventions and what you think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. Therefore, hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. See, says, what will you do or how will you hide your sins before the most high and his angels? Behold, the most high himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the most high lead you forth and deliver you from all the trouble. But you see. Two thirds of our people don't want to do that. They want to dwell in their sins. They want to dwell in their madness. You see, but the most high is going to search out all that works. You know, shit, our people don't even hide, it, man. They don't even hide it, man. This is Isaiah three and nine. The show of their continence does witness against them and they declare their sin as Sodom and they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, meaning destruction. For they have rewarded evil to themselves, man. Hey, Amen. That's why I call all Yahweh Bashim Shai. Call all Yahweh Bashim Shai for, for waking up the elect, man, because we'd all be like this, this nigga. This is Isaiah 1 and 9. Except Yahweh Bashim Shai had left unto us a remnant, a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. So call all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There's, there's a remnant of righteous men that are speaking against this madness, man, because they're coming for our children. And this is what they want. All right. And the majority of the so-called black women, the, so, the, the majority of the so-called Israelite women, they're fully down with this shit. And so woe unto their souls as well. So with that, I hope this was edifying. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Set.